Hi guys, Todd with Topper Easy Lift. We also have another exciting accessory. If you have a rack on your pickup, when they mount the rack, they usually leave little uh, bolts coming through. We have grommets, ring, ringlet grommets that we can attach a bunny tree rack to and make a nice grid pattern. That way you can hang things like, let's say you want to hang, you know, uh, paddles or lights or, you know, maybe some fishing rods up there. It's just a nice area for storage. Keeps everything up out of the way. That's our, uh, our bungee rack by Topper Easy Lift. Thanks guys. Bye. Hi everyone, I'm going to go over how to install the bungee rack kit. Uh, your kit includes 16 M6 eye nuts, and some shock cord, and a couple carabiners. Uh, this system will fit on any 5 foot to 8 foot box. Uh, it does fit on the Yakima and the Thule uh, topper racks, uh, or any other topper rack that has a M6 eye bolt coming through it. And we'll just simply screw on to the existing bolts that are coming through the top of your topper. So to get started, we are going to uh, basically look at a photo from laying on our backs. The uh, left side will be the driver or the, uh, the back of the pickup and the bottom of the photo will be the driver's side and the top will be the passenger side. So we're going to start by screwing on our eye bolts in the driver's side uh, rear towards the tailgate. And then we will proceed by screwing it onto all of the rest of them. This is actually only a five foot box, uh, so we're only going to be using 10 of the eye nuts. And then we're going to start at the rear driver's side and tie a knot with our shock cord. And we will start weaving through the driver's side eye nuts until we get to the front of the pickup. And then we're going to come straight across to the passenger side, and then we will continue to. Uh, weave down the passenger side until we get towards the tailgate and then we'll come straight back across to where we started and tied our knot. Uh, we won't tie a knot yet and we will continue running a uh, zigzag fashion here going from the driver's side to passenger side and back to the driver's side and then back to the passenger side uh, just creating a few triangles going back and forth. Once we get to the front of the pickup here at the driver's side we'll have to go straight across to the passenger side and then we're going to want to continue uh, make zigzagging back and forth, uh, creating our triangles. Uh, once we get all the way to the back of the pickup on the passenger side, we'll want to come straight across to the driver's side again, and then now we can tie or not. Uh, you may want to adjust it, make sure that it's got the right tautness um, so it'll be able to hold your cargo correctly. Um, and then just to uh, recap here, we're going to start at the driver's side, make a uh, box basically going around, weaving through the eye nuts, and then we'll zigzag back and forth, creating our triangles and coming back across, and then doing the same thing until we get back to uh, where we started and tie our knot. Well, hopefully th this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, and I will do a short video after this just to kind of give a better idea of what it looks like afterwards, and thank you for watching. All right, so for the uh, bungee hanger, uh, you want to put all of your uh, eye nuts on first um, and orientate them the way you want. And then start on the driver's side rear and tie a knot. And then we're going to run the bungee cart all the way down to the end. When I come around, we're just going to make a big rectangle. Come back here. And once we get back to where we started, we're going to start zigzagging back and forth down the bungee or down the uh, the truck we get to that side and we're going to come straight across the back again and then we're going to start working our way back so it'll come back to here and then you tie the knot and that's it